Dimp Digital presents Idle Game Chat. Cool. Hello, Apps here from Dimp Digital. Welcome to Idle Game Chat. This is the weekly video games podcast where we talk about the games that you can play today. I oh, fuck the opening for once in my career. What are we here to do? We talk about the games you can play today and react to the latest news. God almighty. What's that? What episode is this? 90 something. <laughs> Actually, not far away from 100. That's not a bad tip. Oh, we've got to do something special. Have for we? That. Well. That's the reason why I changed the name once already when we got to like <laughs> in the 90s. Someone was hassling me to do we it. We get, like, get to 98 and then we'll just go out. Yeah, re- rebrand. Yeah. But yes, we are here to talk about some video games that we've been playing and talk about some of the news from the past week, which we'll get into. Um, we know the best way to start a podcast is through. Our one and only way, which is delay news. Oh, I have to do some cash in hand jobbies. Well, we do have and some delay news. Before we <laughs> announce delay news, you just showed everyone a beer and the people in the audio want to oh, know what it is. Vocation. 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 Life and death. Hot it, merchant. Oh, classic IPA. 6.5. Good. Down, is it? That's what you want. Um, yeah, I don't know what it, it's. It's very much similar to Bro, um, Brewdog, but mm. Vocation Brewery. I've never actually heard of them, to be honest. No. This was given to me by Yellow Boots. He Yellow got Boots. It as, a, as a present. Oh. Um, he's a teacher, so he got it as like one of his parents give it to him, and he doesn't like IPA because he's a wolf. Oh, he doesn't like that. <laughs> it's interesting that because I remember you telling a story about how he. Um... As a present, once he got you Final Fantasy VII remake. Oh yeah! So the value yeah. in presents are going down. Yeah, they are now. I'm getting single can, single stub can IPAs <laughs> mm. instead of brand new. Seven, no, I suppose it, oh yeah, it was a PS5 core that was just that got in just before the seventy pound madness. PS4 jobby, wasn't it? Yeah. Unbelievable. Oh, well, mind you, it was worth seventy pound. That was brilliant. That game. Yeah, <laughs> it was good. So that. Do you reckon the next one will be? That'll be a 70. Yeah, it will. Mm, I, yeah, I can't see how it won't be. Funny enough, I, I was going to... Be... If, if we were running low on... Uh, sorry, had extra time, I was going to say, I have recently just finished watching a playthrough of the oh. original, or Final Fantasy VII original, because I was like, I'm not going to play oh. it. And yeah, Sam was like, well, why aren't you playing it? And I was like, I kind of get what you're saying, but... It but, would take yeah. me so long because I don't know what I'm doing. You can't. We can just watch someone. They just go through the story. I just yeah. wanted to know the story beats and roughly what the game was doing. So it took me a while. I've been sitting at that for a few months now. It was like 35 hours in total. Whoa, whoa, but really? watch, watch like a couple of hours a week and then yeah, yeah. And then get through it. And here's what I'll say to you. We will get into delay news because we've opened the segment. <laughs> but here's what I'll say to you, Atkins. I think you need to make a choice. Yeah. You even need to. Do what I've done yeah. and read up, inhale, ingest Final Fantasy VII original plus oh, some of the companion stuff. I'm talking like Advent Children Ooh. film. I'm talking seen Crisis that. Court. Yeah. Not seeing that. <laughs> no, that's not a film. That's an old game. Um, that PSP game? I think it was. Yeah, I think it was on PSP yeah. actually. So yeah, it'd be one of those oh, watch, watch jobbies. Yeah. So you would do that because because what you did you played up to the to Midgard and then I stopped. Found didn't you? Out how, I found out how well roughly I didn't know when it was going to end, but people were saying like, "Look, it's going to go up until this point." I'm hoping they'd do the same. <laughs> well, but that's what you're saying, is it? I'm saying Don't you either do what I've, what I'm going to do, which is just inhale this information and be ready, or mm. walk away from what you're trying to do, going completely blind. Don't don't yeah. play the original because it's. It's more complicated than you think, and <laughs> you either want to be involved in like the crazy stuff, or you want to be completely distanced from it entirely. Yeah. You, you you want those surprises because it, it can work for both audiences. I think. Right. So I'm just telling you as a warning: either get involved and then jump no, down the old 
Metal Gear Solid <laughs> conspiracy theories that was, was <laughs> no, had for Metal Gear Solid Five that never came true, or keep it at arm's length and just hope you no. that most of the surprises that that they're coming out in that game you, you can keep. True. But yeah, that's not bad. There's a brilliant video you should watch of Robert Patterson talking to Zoe Kravitz, who played Catwoman. Mm. He's explaining the love triangle between Cloud, Tifa, and Mary. Yeah. It's fucking brilliant. <laughs> and her reaction <laughs> is even better. She's just like, what? <laughs> what are you on about, you geek? Yeah, wow. it's brilliant. <laughs> you had to be there in 97. Yeah. Anyway, delay news. Suicide Squad kill the Justice oh. League. Sefton Hill, co- creative director and co-founder at Rocksteady. He sent out a tweet. Squad, suicide Squad kill the Justice League to be delayed until spring 2023. I know a delay is frustrating, but that time is going into this to make it the best game we can. I look forward well, to bringing is. the chaos of Metropolis together. Thanks for your patience. And I think really to I don't actually care about that much. I, like, I'll, I'll, it's a game I probably will play eventually, but mm. I'm more pissed off that I've got it in my fantasy <laughs> team. Yeah, that will, that, so that's, that's cost me. But to, in terms of the actual game, you know, I wasn't blown away by the last thing we saw. It's a, a bit longer in the oven, probably would do a favour. Yeah. But yeah. Just I suppose because they're pushing that. Um, well, they've got the release date for that other one, so maybe they're going to... Even though that's a complete... That's not rock steady, is it? No, um, that's... Um, Nights, yeah, Montreal, yeah, that's is it? it? Yeah, Arkham so Origins. Maybe, yeah. Chaps so, and chapesses. One Batman game at a, time, at a time. Yeah, I mean, it always felt like they sort of were announced slash revealed in similar time windows and were always... It was like, why are they aiming for the same... Or a, a release year that's the same? I was like, now at least there's... Well, unless Gotham gets delayed, oh, there, yeah. there's going to be yeah, space. I like, like I really do think they could deal do with having at least six months apart, just because yeah. I'm not sure how whatever comes Maybe second, enough. or even people might say, "Well, I don't want to play," you know, the the Gotham one because we've got Suicide Squad coming in a few months. So oh, fucking Wonder Woman coming as well. Oh, God, that, that ain't probably 2025 for that. We only saw a picture, didn't we? Screen, screen game, screen. bit of housekeeping. Yeah. I had issues with Ghosts of Tsushima, PS4 oh, yeah. to PS5 upgrade. Issue okay. solved. Oh, um, email back from Jim. No, they didn't even confirm it. So basically, they emailed back and said, "Wait till your PS Plus expires." And I was like, "It's eighteen months away. I'm not going to wait for that." And I, was like, I know, I know roughly how I think this system works, and if I get Ghost of Tsushima Legends refunded, it will remove the license, and therefore it will remove that piece of content, and therefore it'll open up the the you know the, the upgrade path. So rather than going back to them and arguing, I was like, because they're not going to budge. Just twice they've come back with the same response. I just put a refund request through for the transaction where I claimed Legends for free, mm. and then within two days, <clears throat> an email saying thank you for purchasing Ghosts of Tsushima Legends uh, demo. It said. And I was like, oh. well, that's, they've done something. So something's happened. Yeah, um, went back into the store, onto my wish list, and lo and behold, the upgrade path had returned. So w- whether that was because I triggered the refund or they just got a few complaints from people How? like me and fixed it, I don't know. Mm, possibly. Have you tried install? Have you still got access to Ghost of Tsushima? It was a digital, it was a digital As purchase. A, have, have you tried installing the game and going into the actual menu at game i haven't no i didn't try no that. there was a game what was a game i was gonna do now i had to do that mm. tony hawks there was no option for me but i found if i installed the ps4 mm. version then there was like it pressed up press l1 for ps5 version i could that was the only way i could upgrade oh wow. so, i could have i could have tried that then had i yeah. had i, I mean, had that knowledge fun. it's fixed anyway all's well that ends but, well but yeah, that fucking handy. store that is fucking diabolical. Just give us the options. Yep. Bush. Let's fuck these licenses Stop. off. Especially when they're chucking demos in there. Oh, and... No, it just gets so messy. Oh, Jim. Unbelievable. A second bit of housekeeping. So last week I teased Rumble, saying, well, Rumble. can you be a core community lead? A core community <laughs> if you ain't putting hand in pocket. God. He has put hand in pocket. So oh, he's, oh, he's called me out and, Rumble. you know, he's, you know, egg on my face now. So... Bless Rumble oh, for Lord that. Rumble. Patreon.com forward slash Dip Digital. Thank you for that. We do appreciate it. It was only a light-hearted <laughs> jab, but now I have no leg to stand on, so I have to retract oh, my um, hey, Rumble. My tickling from last week. But, yeah, 
Community <laughs> lead. Pretty much his rumble now. He's, he's earned it. Yeah. Fantasy Gaming League update. Three games came out this past week. Oh. Okay. So we had in the championship game, Parky had Ghostwire Tokyo. First chink in, well, second chink in Parky's armor because that's landed at a 76. <laughs> so still got a good lead on paper. Paper's still in a bit of trouble, but that's left the door open a little bit. You know, another one of those, and it's, it's well and truly back on. And given that Parky has Stalker 2 in his team, which apparently is coming in December, but as we mentioned a few weeks ago, they're moving out to... Uh, I think they said... That I've read somewhere, it hasn't been reported that widely, that some of the studio may have been relocated to Czech Republic. Yeah, I saw So that. it might still make it, but you'd think this level of disruption, if it has already been delayed, is not going to help. So that, that might be a candidate to come out. But that's... For Parkett, got himself a 76 Ghostwire Tokyo, and Adcock also had it in his team. Adcock also had Tiny Tina's Wonderland, which is a 79. So oh, these are fluctuating, obviously, daily yeah. almost, but that's, can, that's where it's like the Elder Ring's gone down to 95. 95 slot! That's where God of War was before the PC release. That's. Oh. That's sinking by the I day. Was, I was told, greatest game ever, unbeatable, and yeah. it's, it's down at what God of War was sitting at for. Four oh, years. Stinker. So that's that's starting to climb right. down. Kirby in the Forgotten Land. No one picked this in the championship game, but Logan had the foresight to get this on his Grand Prix team. Landed himself an eighty-five Ooh, at the moment. So that's good. solid. That is a solid entry, especially for fucking from Kirby. Yeah. Well, that Star Allies that was like a seventy odd, wasn't it? Mm. I think when it's I best work. In. But. Oh. Allies. Allies or allies? Yeah, allies. Can't remember now. Allies. That netted itself a 74. Yeah, cool. so that's a, a marked improvement. So it's about a slightly higher than what I was expecting based on the um, yeah, the same, demo yeah. I'd played, but I know it's, it's a Nintendo game, so it can benefit that from bump. that. I thought that, that bump was dead, to be honest, after last year. It depends. And all those... Mario 3D World did well, didn't it? Yeah, that was 89, I think, on Open Critic, so that done well. Yeah. But then, like the Paper Mario, the golf game, mm. they all do it. Yeah. So it was a bit of a... They do get a kick in, usually, when they deserve it. It's just that what happens is if something's like bordering on good to great, they it immediately gets put in the great and above category. Right, and gets yeah, the, yeah. You know... The Metro, they always give them a good shagging. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, will, that will sting them. Uh, Some news CD Projekt Red. Confirm oh. a new Witcher title was in development using Unreal Engine 5. So oh. that red engine they use for Cyberpunk and the Witcher Dead. has binned. Uh, they've also <laughs> said it's not going to be the Witcher 4 and that it's going to be a new saga. So that mm. would say to me that Geralt... Emery's on board. Well, it could be that, <laughs> but... I don't think Geralt, that's going to be Geralt's yeah. story's done. He's at that. He's he's getting pissed up. I think he's retiring. Um, I can imagine Siri bit like Siri feels like a natural mm. extension, considering how fucking powerful she is. Yeah, and um, young, and young. Yeah. Well, it's hard to tell because I don't yeah, seem to yeah, age I'd these fucks, it. do they? <laughs> no. I don't they know. Old off them are. Hours of years old, wouldn't she? Nah, well, exactly. <laughs> so so we're going to get a new witch title. It'll probably be four or five years away. Um, mm. I'm so, oh, not, I'm somewhat surprised about the ditching of Red Engine because actually on top hardware, Cyberpunk on the PC looked mm. fucking incredible. Oh, yeah, incredible, very good. But clearly had issues scaling down and yeah. and other. And, and to be honest, let's be fair, The Witcher Three. As much as I love that game, there's people that had on that huge <laughs> issues with that in terms of bugs, didn't they, on those yeah, consoles? Yeah, very. So Lots of them. I had some as well on the PC. There's definitely quests where the people weren't turning up. And yeah. <laughs> Yeah, a couple of little bits here and there. But, but Unreal Engine yeah, Five, so the Matrix demo. That's what we got. We, you know, that's what that was built on. And it's this seems like it's a bit of a collaboration. They've announced they're working closely with Epic to build to help build new tools for open world and RPG stuff. So maybe not the worst idea. Maybe one day Epic goes right. We'll have you, CD Projekt Red. We'll yeah, have a, we'll yeah. have a bit of a spending spree. You you come to us. Yeah, take we that. got Fall Guys. We got Rocket League. Now we want The Witcher. Um, but I'm not surprised to see a new Witcher title because I, I mean the, the Netflix series uh, really has just broken. Yeah, that that's has. given it a whole new. I was just thinking, I wonder if they would. Do you think they? No, because it 
like you say, this Geralt story. I'm just thinking, could they get Emery involved? Wow. Well, that be? Get old home one. We could, we could do, but then people be like, it's not the game, Geralt. Like, you've got to get him back. Yeah. But, New saga, yeah, it definitely does. Yeah. Be interesting. I'll be, I'll be it, down I reckon he'll be in it. Like, as a this, character, yeah. maybe. Yeah, yeah. But... I don't think we're going to be rolling around with old Geralt, and he's oh, he's Geralt. banging either Yennefer or Triss, depending on what you've done. He's he's not in, <laughs> he's not interested. He's open my book. But, <laughs> but <laughs> he's trying to put it all behind him. I still really want them to rebuild one, spruce oh, up two, and then we're already getting a sprucing up of three, and have like the trilogy playable because you actually went and tried to play the first one before the third oh, one and said incredible. basically unplayable. Unplayable, well, for for me. Well, no, that's <laughs> a common. Too, that's a common was held good. belief that the first one's just like, what is this? Crash, no controller support as well for <laughs> these console gamers. When you're trying to play a PC game with mouse and keyboard, absolute stinker. Yeah, it was a real fucking terrible. So then, no, I, I'd be up for that. I'm surprised someone ain't modded it. And, well, I'll probably have. Oh yeah, that dream. I'm sure someone's almost fixed it, but yeah. It's not but no, point, that would be it? very good in a year of remakes. Yeah, we're getting some of these. That'd be brilliant. I probably looked at the code base on and thought that ain't fixable. Yeah, <laughs> we ain't got like time that. to be spending on that. We've just about wiped our ass of cyberpunk after cleaning up that mess. Um, well, oh, I still yeah. think they're working on DLC for that, so that's another thing yeah. to take. But yeah, when, have they got a date for Witcher Three update? Uh, just a Q two. So April through June, so it could be somewhere in the next sort of three months or so. Um, I'm really tempted to go back and play it for a yeah, third time. Dummy, I'm not, didn't he? Yeah, like oh, six weeks ago. Unbelievable. I said to him, wait, wait until yeah. the update's out. And he was like, well, I'm going to go through it now. And he done it right before Horizon and then got f- <laughs> and had to do two fucking ginormous games back to back and then now he's on Elden Ring struggling and he's just that's 300 hour games on the fucking spin he's incredible he does belt through games as well that boy I know he? he claims he hasn't got time to play them but well lies he belt through it he will just then... he skips all the cutscenes doesn't he yeah especially yeah. for Horizon he didn't like Mother Earth and the tribes <laughs> which I know you soured on as well and... no I can't say yeah I, I, yeah I don't know if I'm I, mean, I will go back to that, but I just I weren't in the right frame of mind. But it did. I weren't skipping cutscenes. I'm not that that no. bitter, but I was it was levels of annoyance. I was like, I don't care. Right? I stop. Get this over. I said, Biff, if you're going to bail out on Elden Ring, which I think you will before the end, like, I think that's, it's an indefinite. That's going to happen. Yeah. In the scenario. He'll get fed did, up. Like, especially as he done Sekiro. I thought this is definitely because I know he liked um, uh, Skyrim, and this. Definitely does have that that sort of adventure thing where you just you fuck off and you end up doing something completely different. But to he ain't what got a quest log to log it for him, no, exactly. so you don't know he's yeah, doing this, it. No, nah, this and I think this is what's annoying him most. Mm. He's used to these handhelds, and now he's handheld. Um, he's used to these, you know, the, the hand being held and tell him where to go, and he can't deal with it. Bless him, but he claims it's the hardest game he's ever played, but. <laughs> he's not even he's not even near the R bit from what I understand. So we'll <laughs> wait to see if that that gets upgraded when he if he yeah. gets he pushes through it. But yeah, new Witcher title. I don't know what I want to see. I just want to see CD Projekt no. Red sort of back to Witcher three levels of competency and you know a clean game to come out. Get those yeah. boys and girls back on track because Witcher three was great, and then obviously Cyberpunk was just a disaster from no. optically anyway. I'm still, still uh, looking forward to going in the pipeline. Is it? Yeah, absolutely. It's still there. I'm just sort of, I'm I've finished Horizon yeah. now, so I um Bell platinumed tough. it as well. So that's done. Oh. So I will... even Biff, Biff looking at Biff, he's done at eighty five percent of trophies. I was like, right, get that extra fucking fifteen percent. Really out now. not that hard. Like when, when I finished <laughs> it. I had I think I had three trophies left and had and I was gonna I was going to do those regardless what what the, the yeah, three yeah. things I needed left I was gonna do so it wasn't like I had to go and do anything I didn't want to do yeah 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 but yeah I'll be reporting back on that in a little while oh. I'll record it in short order but you probably won't see it for a little while because there's under the changes going to review structures again the final oh, phase well, they're calling the it. First official review I think then. it'll be closer to Elden Ring with Adcock might be oh, the first yeah. one 
but we've got a lot to, yep. lot of old took to get through first. So <laughs> you'll get our reports on those games though in the in yeah. in a few weeks, you know, month or so, probably a bit longer actually. But we you, will get that. And I'm just in a phase now where I'm like, right. What do, what do I play before Elden Ring? Because that's basically what I'm going to oh, next. Tunic. Don't want to play. Oh, no, that's meant to be obtuse and hard. And doesn't oh, is t- it? Yeah, you. Oh, so one of the interesting things I learned about that this past week, I was watching Game Face, and they do like a breakdown of it for about 20 minutes, and you pick up like documents or notes, like tutorials, and read signs, but you have to have learnt the language in game for it to show you. Oh, oh. Even not the controller layout is in a foreign language until you've learned really? enough of the language to yeah so it's not a that's not a breezy game either that's that's a that's a oh, brain that's tickler another, oh, i thought that was about another like death door type thing. no so what i've gone for is i've I pumped on um f1 2021 which came to game Ooh, pass yeah. and they've got a breaking point story mode which looks like you can really? play through, you have to play through like two seasons although not the whole season you just sort of it drops you into scenarios during the races and you have to sort of you know, you start at six, this finish first, like, and you have to meet that objective. Whoa. So I'm going to just hammer through that and then maybe a couple of other small titles and then sit down and go, right, let's get this Elden Ring. Hopefully by yeah. then, PC started sorted, but won't, won't hold my breath. But Cyberpunk's not on the table yet because I don't want to play Cyberpunk, like a big game like that, and then jump it's into Elden Ring. hundred hours yeah. if you're going to... Yeah. See everything, and the longer I wait for that, the better that'll be. So that's yeah, it's always yeah. a good. They're thing still there. patching it now, like little hot fixes and yeah. stuff, as they should, yeah. as, as they, they should. should. Jim's been busy again. He bloody well has. PlayStation to buy Jade Raymond's Haven Studio. Does he do the original Assassin's Creed? So my understanding is that original Assassin's Creed and Watch Dogs. And Watch Dogs. Um, that's her What's her name? Jade Raymond. Hasn't shipped anything for a long time. So, so a lot of the um, a lot of the press think of her highly. Those in the know say that those that have worked for her, um, like. it's great as well. Like great to work for, like mm. good leader, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but she was a producer on both of you know of of the of Assassin's Creed she's involved in Assassin's Creed 2 Bloodlines Blacklist is like an executive producer but then had those had that awful time where um she went to Stadia and that game got fucking flushed away and then they set Haven yeah. up uh, which is which is kind of what they're working on now but Jim's gone out and bought it. Him and Herman have come along and said look we know you we oh. we sort of helped you get startup money last year we said look Pump this studio in. You make the first game for us exclusive, and we'll see what happens. Well, a year later, almost to the day, they've announced they're going to purchase the studio and they're going to come in under the PlayStation Studios banner. Mm. So a clear, well, at least to me, a clear change in tactics from Sony and PlayStation in terms of purchasing. Historically, we've like Blue Point. They've done about fucking eighteen projects of PlayStation. And all right, then we'll buy you. Yeah, yeah. Insomniac. Yes, they've got the old Spider-Man lockdown and fall. And after they're done, Ratchet and Clank's throughout the year. Took them a while yeah. to get that. Uh, House Mark have been doing exclusive stuff on and off a second party for a while. But then we had earlier this year Bungie bit and bought for billions of pounds mm. just on a whim without much of a you know relationship there other no. than marketing and whatnot. And then Haven. Yes, they were going to do an exclusive, but they hadn't shipped anything under this this agreement, oh. and they've gone 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 two feet in. So Sony oh, are great. seeming to speed up their acquisition game and trying to get stuff they think's good. Now, the only thing that really can cons- we don't really know what the game is. We've not seen it. It's their first Canadian studio, for whatever that means to people who live in that in that across the side of the pond. They'll either tell me if that's good or bad. But this is another live service game. Ah, uh, so. Look at them. We spoke about their target to ship 10 of these bastards by 2024 or 2025 or whatnot. And this is a part of that, undoubtedly. So nothing really else to say other than PlayStation has still got their money out. Jim's still hunting around, looking for people to buy, games to buy, publishers to buy. So I don't think they're going to stop this year because I think Microsoft are essentially off the table until... Activision's done, which could take yeah. another year from now or more. Oh. So they might be out of the game for a year or so. In that time, Jim can go, oh, I'll have a bit of you, a bit of you, a bit of you, and start scattering things up. But 
be interesting mm. to see that game when it first arrives. Because at the moment, it's a lot of words. It's not. There's not even a yeah. screen for us to to get excited about. <laughs> these, these, these are just words. But Herman Holst had gave an interview, I think, to GamesIndustry.biz, and he was bigging this up, saying how impressed they were, how quickly they'd got something together. They've the milestones are just smashed them out the park. So they're not stupid. Sony are not stupid. They've made great games for yeah. a generation and a bit now. So they're not. They know a good game. They see. It. I just hope that um, obviously it's a live service game, so not not our bag typically. And, yeah. and we'll wait and see. Speaking of live service games, Gran Turismo Seven. Oh. Have you seen this debacle? Unbelievable, Jeff. We spoke about actually they they enabled the microtransactions after release. We spoke about that, which which rendered most reviews useless at that point. Like on <laughs> yeah. day one, those reviews nice. are out of date. How we spoke we spoke about that, and then since then it's just been fail after fail after oh. fail. They they took it offline a couple of weeks ago <clears throat> to do a patch. It was down for thirty hours. <laughs> this is a game where you can you can't play the career mode unless you're connected to the internet. So you, you can't play yeah. your single player career mode unless you've got the internet running and you're connected to the servers because they've got some sort of marketplace that changes dynamically. So they, people couldn't access it for 30 hours. And then when they turn it back on, they had nerfed a load of the races that earn you credits. So a, a race that would give you, making it up, 500,000 credits was now down to like 200,000 credits. So one of the things that had been noticed by a lot of the fan base was that you can buy the credits as microtransactions, obviously, and this next patch that had came out had essentially made that task harder because people had found farming tracks and circuits right, and championships. Yeah. Right, here's the, here's the way to min-max it so we don't have to spend as much time where we can get as many credits as we want. Anyway, so they all got review-bombed on, on Metacritic. Let's know, just have a look. 1.6 the user rate. <laughs> Lowest ranked PlayStation exclusive game of all time. User rate. I mean, I know the user ratings are not overly reliable, but they clearly are useful because yeah. after all this backlash, basically they've they go they're starting to correct some of the mistakes they've made. We had a PlayStation blog put out by the uh, the big boy at Polyphonic, and he's basically said, "Look, we hear you." We're going to start making X, Y, and Z changes. I'm not going to list them all off because it, without context, it won't make much sense to us. But, you know, it's worked. The The noise has worked and, mm. and whatnot. And um, look, we just spoke about it's going to be live service game at Haven. <clears throat> Clearly, Gran Turismo 7, maybe not in stealth. Well, stealthily, it is, a, is a game as a service. That's become evident by the way they're, they're, oh. they're doing that. And... Doesn't bode well if Sony want to ship nine more of these mm. in the next few years because they've just stumbled all over this. They, you know, the way I see live service, and this is, you know, stuff that I've heard from Destiny Dave, who's been, you know, involved in, lifetime in that. Is what happens is, is that the developers, the publisher, whoever's making these decisions, they try and push, they push and push and push. And think, hey, what can we get away with? Yeah. So they go, right, let's do that. Let's make it really hard for him to earn that. And then let's listen to the noise. Oh, not so much noise. We'll leave that alone. Oh, yeah. loads of noise. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll pull it back in a little bit. So they're trying to find this line where they can maximise as much money as they can to extract from people without upsetting the fan base too much. And expect to see this for other PlayStation Live service games because they're not professionals. Sorry, we're no professionals here. They're certainly not professionals in doing this and you can expect him to stumble some more is the way I see it. Now, yeah. for, no, fortunately this doesn't affect, hasn't affected, I should say anything I truly have been overly interested in like GT seven wasn't really on the docket and um, it sucks for yeah. the people that it was on there and I've had to sit through this and are still sitting through this, but I am, there's more and more this goes on. I kind of think, well, does this, do we does this start seeping into things like mm. you know I don't know let's just say Horizon Three you know do, do, when that comes out next do we have the Assassin's Creed Valhalla XP boosts and oh. cosmetics to bite like because yeah. one thing about Sony's games typically Gran Turismo aside obviously and I think that's because things are changing the single player big hitters the 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 creme de la creme the crown jewels have been pretty much had none of that stuff in it 
no. other than Uncharted, which had a multiplayer mode. But yeah. I've really appreciated that none of their um, the single player stuff has, has has fallen down that that hole of having anything no. really, other than like the, the, the odd special edition. But any thoughts on this? And perhaps you know the bigger picture is that the live service impact is coming yes. to a Sony platform near you. Yeah, it is, and I don't, I don't like it. I was talking to Sutton yesterday. He said he's just recently gone out and bought uh, Gran Turismo Seven. So he's loving How's he it. How's he got a PS Five? He bought, no, he bought a PS Four Pro. Oh, okay. <laughs> and he's loving it, is he? Him. He's loving it. Apparently, yeah. He said it's good. Um, but yeah, no, I don't want to see this sort of shit in in our, in our PlayStation. And you're right, the the single player games don't have any of this today, really. No. Um, but that would be a stinker. That would be to see something like Horizon getting a an XP boost or a, even a, even a, even if you could just buy outfits like just yeah just yeah exactly. I know people are like oh it doesn't even. matter it's cosmetics only and I'm like yeah I I kind of agree with you but just they've mm. been absent for so long it would it would yeah. be a definite signal that they are looking to extract more money. I'm not saying it'll make the game worse. I I refuse no. to see how it'll make the game better. I can't see yeah. that perspective just yet. How Expecting me to put hand in pocket to, yeah. to to buy a new fucking outfit is is going to make the game any better. It can it can only detract it from my view. But mm. maybe maybe the reason that GT Seven is getting this sort of level of coverage because it has been so absent. You know, yeah, you look over the other yeah, side of the yeah. fence. Look at Green's uh, Green Blood Stable. Halo Infinite is a live service game with yeah. with no live service at the moment. They're just they're, <laughs> yeah. they are really making a hash of that. Um, Gears, yeah. Gear, I mentioned when I was playing oh, on, yeah, on our, one of our um, uh, impressions that will be coming up in the coming weeks about Hive Busters. I, oh, forgot, yeah. I, forgot, I forgot that that was a live service game because you load yeah. that up for the first time and you have 50 dialogue pop-up boxes you have to sift through because <laughs> it's got XP boost this weekend. I'm like, oh God, mm. that's not Gears of War 2. <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah, so they've yeah. already kind of gone through this transition where their games are having them and to be fair, a lot of that's in their multiplayer modes again. But... It just mm. feels, um, I guess it's it quite jarring like on... Creep. Yeah, it's creeping in. Mm. I don't like it. I don't want to see it. They're, you, so they're giving away a million free credits for each mm. user. <laughs> so there's your problem. People are bitching about the thing and they're going, right, so to counter-react that, we'll give you a million of the problem. Yeah, have some <laughs> So more. then you can purchase stuff and then you realise, oh, I ain't got enough to get. Yeah. I think so, but yeah, no, I don't want to see this. And you're right, maybe they are starting to stick this in because the Greens are, are getting away with it. If you do it right, yeah. like I said, it's not really a problem. Mm. Like I mentioned, Gears, that's an online multiplayer issue only. I don't. It doesn't. They got that Last of Us Two deal uh, multiplayer yet? That's no, be that'll be the another, with it. That'll be another. Well, that's what I'm thinking. I'm just thinking yeah. like clearly, and we don't know who's making these decisions for GT Seven, but. Clearly, no. whoever was in charge of this has not done their homework or has not implemented it well. It's like, why would I expect anything different from factions, which mm. is what we assume it's going to be, where that's clearly going to be an online-only live service game? Like, it's, yeah. It's just, no, there's no other way to kind of describe that. No. And, yeah, I think even GT7's main competitor, Horizon, mm. um, that's not really with microtransaction, but... Car packs fucking <laughs> are abundant. Yeah, yeah, because they don't. I don't think you can buy any micro transactions, but there's like the VIP car pack and stuff like that's that. So I mean, that's probably so the they t- that's probably the best way to do it if you're gonna. Yeah, so they try and do it like, and then they start doing DLC things where they've done like a Lego one. Yeah, um, Hot Wheels things like yeah, that. Good so they stuff. make it. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, not just in-game currency. Going, yeah. Right, here's your fucking boosters. So you can buy your very own virtual Jaguar. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So, yeah, no. not. I don't, I don't, I don't like this polyphony, so stop doing it. And, stop doing it. Well, they, they, Jim, they, put your fucking foot down. Is it even oh, Jim, though? That's the trouble. Fun. Is it Jimbo or is it Alan in the shadows well, telling no, Jim to do it? Yeah, Elm's going to... I fucking own them. That Horizon <laughs> Company, Gorilla. I'll fucking get that into Horizon Free, don't you worry. I think I've mentioned it before, but there's there's a rumour floating around that they're gonna do an online only or oh, sorry, a multiplayer version of Horizon 
that isn't like a main entry. It's like a spin-off Ooh. where we could go out cooperatively and hunt down a thunder jaw. Oh, that would be pretty Like Monster good. Hunter. Cool. But in an open world, you know, a proper world. open world. That would be cool. That would be cool. I'll be down for that. that. Would, yeah, I'll be down for that. So we just slagged it all off, and yet that one, we're like, <laughs> yeah, cool, no. we'll, we'll, we'll pay for some live we'll service on the that. horizon. I oh, think of the live service you could get for that. That'd be so cool. Anyway, don't don't <laughs> tempt them, because they'll bite us in the arse. Speaking of penny yeah. pinching, this is just a late, not a late breaker, but one that came in late in the week for, for last week. Rockstar revealed GTA Plus, an optional new $6 a month subscription for Grand Theft Auto Online. I was counting my subscriptions the other day. I think I've currently got about six. Mm. <laughs> yes. Um, so, yeah, more to come. I mean, what does this give me? <laughs> well, this is what this gives you. It gives you $500 <laughs> per month automatically into your, your bank maze account. bank account. Uh, the principal Divisti 8, along with complimentary Hayo's special works upgrade before it's made available to purchase by the general public. Uh, the Auto Shop, located in La Massa, introduces an assortment of gameplay updates from Los Santos Turners. Current Auto Shop owners can relocate at no additional cost. Uh, waived LS Car Meet membership fee. I mean, look at all this. Uh, yacht owners can upgrade to the Aquarius Super Yacht at no additional cost. <laughs> These loads of other stuff. This, this doesn't even read English to me. I can't translate no, this no, stuff. I'm like, I how out no of touch? Idea. This game this wasn't like this like when it. I started playing heists. No, it sounds like this is directed at the real hardcore. The destiny days of the GTA. This world. thing's printing money though. How yeah, much more is, money yeah. do you need, I, Rockstar? Yeah. Yeah, that is. It's, get it on that switch. That'll be another fucking banker as well. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's, it's like you say, it's just an absolute cash cow, and they're just finding new ways. And um, that will sell. That will fucking, especially now they've just released these new versions. People are jumping back on that. Online's going to be thriving. <laughs> it will be. Uh, they need to think is, of a but... way where you can play online without having last gen tooting because the load yeah. time do you, I remember the one thing that used to really annoy me about oh, GTA Online you, two minutes at a time it takes to load like a heist yeah. or to get into like the world map after a, an event if you can yeah just be hovering against the city oh wouldn't it oh my god fucking, like, what is that I'm hoping that they can do something about that but if you're on you know, if you're with someone who's on a PS4, it ain't going to load as quick and I don't know if it is the loading <laughs> it might be the net code again we keep coming back mm. to this phantom did we used to do that didn't we I was doing it with loading, was it? It was me and you on PS4 Pros, and he was on a PS4. Mm. He'd always be like the last one in. He would always load in last, but he had awful internet to boot as well, so well, it could have been that. But lots of money grabbing going on this episode. Yeah. Last one. This is more rumour and innuendo, but we will find out. According to Bloomberg, so people that are listening to this in the public sphere... And um, Bloomberg got that rock steady right. They, they, did. they, they broke did. that story about four months yeah, ago. They did indeed. <laughs> so again, you can probably take it to the bank, but those listening on the Monday, um, if you're a patron, you probably have early access to this, but I never say you definitely do because it depends on <laughs> scheduling. But Sony are due to unveil the PlayStation Plus subscription. Spartacus, we're oh. going to find out. Now, the rumours... there's. Printed rumours out there from Bloomberg about what it's going to contain, what it's not going to contain. The prices aren't nailed down. The names aren't nailed down. But we will talk about that probably on next week's episode in full because they should give us all the details that we need to know so we can talk about it properly. So one of the items, though, is that one of the, the middle tiers will come with um, downloadable games, highlights you know they're saying they're going to be half decent titles available on this middle tier to potentially download so what i'm asking for you is a prediction on one of what you would consider a highlight title that not what you want because you'll just right. say god of war ragnarok I was gonna, and that i was gonna possible. say yeah well, i've just i've just seen a thing that said they reckon that that will not absolutely yeah I don't think it, see, yeah, yeah. it says day. The basic the rumor is that day ones are not going to be there, but that yeah. does leave them with a lot of other games that have come out yeah. recently or whatnot. So what they're going to come with? They're, they're going to want to come with a splash here. There's going to be yeah. no. Let's assume no day one stuff or upcoming stuff. Stuff that's already oh, come out. Ass. So what would you predict that one of these splash games that they say right? If you want to go on this package, here's one of I don't know five games that you're going to get. Hit me yeah. with. A game that Jim Ryan needs to be locking down. One or down. two. 
It's a big one. Yep. Death Strand in director's cut. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Or Ghost of Tsushima director's cut. Okay. That's good. That's more <laughs> conservative than what I was thinking. Yeah. What was you thinking? I'm thinking one game. There's only one game that makes sense. Yep. It ain't sold very well. It's got great reviews. It's meant to be right. hard as fucking nails. A little known oh. name, a little known game <laughs> called Returnal. Oh, we're just yeah. we're about a year out from its release. Yeah. That's a bit of a statement. Really it's know. like, look, we're not going to give you last That's gen stuff. True. Here is a current gen new game, and don't tell anyone because it didn't sell that well because we put it up right. for seventy quid and hung it out to dry. That is my prediction that Return will be part yeah. of this initial sort of like, come join us. Here's what you can get access to. I actually think it's yeah, a really I, good smart. I feel it's very good because that. I mean, I'm going to get it anyway, but that <laughs> will. I oh, yeah. a game that will get me. Yeah, I probably will. Yeah, I think so. What well, if Jim Just, says it's 16 quid a month? Oh, yeah, that's a stinker. That was I one of the rumours. Oh, really? <laughs> I assume they'll do an equivalent to the ultimate. Xbox I think that's the I think that's the one they that Grub had put down as like sixteen dollars a month, and that had back compat bundled in right. as well. And then the middle tier would have these games. Uh, mm. Basically, it'd be PlayStation Now boosted with, and then right. with PlayStation Plus. PlayStation mm. Plus would continue on the bottom tier. Um, right. It'd be the games like those monthly games plus the yeah. the online play. Although my yeah. my biggest fear of this whole thing is again, we, we'll find out next week is that it's actually a smokescreen for them up in the price of base PlayStation oh. Plus. Right. So like, yeah. oh, well, you get this now. It's like, oh, I don't want that. Yeah. Like, well, yeah, yeah you, it's, it's 12 quid a month now. No, <laughs> I, I, honestly, I don't want that. I'm fine with just having the monthly <laughs> games and the internet I don't use. Well, we haven't got that yeah. anymore. And, and, you can't, yeah. and you can't buy it unless you uh, do it in you it know, just, month by month. And your cloud saves it. And your cloud, yeah. <laughs> Fuck it, hell. That's my fear is that this is actually a ploy to just make everyone pay a bit more on the bottom tier. They've got 48 million subscribers Ooh. to PlayStation Plus, paid customers, that is. Plus, People yeah, saying, oh, so you don't know what they're doing with subscription stuff. I'm like, well, numbers they do. They, 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 they do. They've just, just, we assume that it's, it's a service. It's not. It's, just, mm. it's the same thing. Yeah. So if they can get another couple of quid out of all of those, oh, not a bad one. Yeah. No, I think I probably will. Mm. Yeah, get it as well. But yeah, Returnal was a great show. I didn't think of that. Get that. No stuff. one's buying that now. They just released yeah. the co-op mode in Ascension, like that Demon's tower mode. Souls. Demons. Get out. <laughs> you know what? Well, here's a question yeah. I'm going to ask Adcock. It's like, how do you go back? How yeah, how was, how'd you go back from was, Elden Ring to Demon Souls after this? this is, and I don't know if he's gonna have an gonna answer for that. So Even I'm, just down to jumping. I <laughs> can't jump in Demon Souls. Like, no. Fucking hell. So I'm wondering whether I need to play Demon Souls first. Yeah. I was <laughs> gonna say going with. back these fucking even down to uh little things called Stakes of America, which you'll learn what they are. Oh God. There is no going back. <laughs> There's no going back. They have bollocks to every Soulsborne game. Shut over it. <laughs> yeah. Jumping on point then, but no, we'll see what they do with the um mm. the place. Actually, Demon Souls wouldn't be a bad shout. You're right. That's a good. Yeah. yeah. Let's, just, let's jump on those. the Elden Ring bandwagon uh, from <laughs> software title here. We're giving it away for yeah, sixteen pound a month. But Miles Morales. Yeah, maybe nice. Spider Man. I mean, it'd be interesting to see what they do. I'm, I'm more mostly interested in actually what the uh, backwards compatible tech is. Yeah. Is it still streaming to, or have they figured a way to get those PS3s downloaded? Because that's the thing that would yeah. tempt me for a short period of time Thumbs on the, the top tier. Tree. Yeah. Just mm. to just to play a few games on there. Like, I want to play the first two Infamous games. Oh yeah, I they're I just strand- the first one. What's it? Resistance stranded. Resistance one, two, three. Yeah, but zone of the enders. <laughs> I just had the Metal Gears in one place. Oh yeah, that would be good. But yeah, no, I'm intrigued. I hope there is. I hope they are right. And are they? Do you reckon they'll do like a state of play type thing? I would imagine so. Yeah, I assume so. It's funny actually. Yeah. The last week that um, Phil was doing a few talks about. Well, I don't know. They actually had a load of data come out. About Game Pass, I was going to run through that, but all this other stuff started kicking off later in the week, so it got binned. But 
it was generally positive stuff, even though the data was restricted because it was showing Xbox kind of growth. And it's like, well, you, you, beyond the curve, there's, there's less people on it. So the growth looks good, but is it is it good? Anyway, mm. um, he mentioned in a video saying, oh, Sony have announced their streaming service. Was that... No, they haven't. I wonder whether they, I wonder whether Jim caught wind of that and thought, "Oh, I'll delay it a week just to yeah. just to make you look a cunt on your video." <laughs> so he was expecting it last week, but cool. it's coming. Well, the, the audience might know before us. They could yeah, be sitting there downloading this on a Monday morning, and then Jim got out there on oh, midnight yeah. of Monday and went, "Right, this week's our week, Spartacus." That's what we call them. <laughs> they might already know, but yeah. Set, sets up next week I'll be really pissed off if nothing happens next week now and I'll be going straight yeah. to Shry going you useless bastard you fucking tosser <laughs> Liar. what would you have you got any predictions for the name the name no well no I mean my view is that it sounds like there's three tiers so it's like each of those is going to have a name my view from the start was the top tier just has to be called PlayStation Platinum right yeah yeah got yeah, Platinum trophies like PP they're not going to do that though apparently it's like PlayStation enhanced or something. Oh, it's... oh stinkers! PlayStation Platinum should be the top tier yeah, daddy one. Should, like yeah. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. I'm like, right, that, we know what that is. PlayStation yeah. Platinum gone. Games for gold. I don't even use it. Games for gold. garbage. <laughs> yeah, well, like it. can't be that's still running. Anyway, <laughs> we'll shut down so we can you can get back to Elden Ring. Cool. Do what you need to do, but we're gonna wrecked. um we're gonna yeah, gonna get wrecked. We're gonna uh, transition mm. into some impressions again. The audience will know what this is before I do. I will just do. spice something at the end. In fact, I know what it's gonna be because I've looked at the timer. It's gonna be last stop. So look forward to that. I will give my impressions with Atkins on a pre-recorded segment. So we will see you. I'm gonna put my on... blue jumper on. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna put my. <laughs> um, I think I had a green or something green. fleece on. Zip up. Yeah, yes. it might have been blue. I think I had a shave as well. <laughs> that t- took me out off as well. So, yeah, we'll just, go. just spruce myself up in the next 15 <laughs> seconds, change our clothes. But we will I'll see you back. on the other side. Here we are then. Going to do some gaming impressions. Me and Atkins are finally getting back into the groove of this. We've been neglecting it for a little while. Oh, the poor fuckers have been. We've got our own backlog. We have got our own backlog, <laughs> so we're working through that. And this is one of those sessions. So you'll be hearing this at the end of a a future podcast, and hopefully you've enjoyed our, our wrap of the news or whatever else has happened that week. And this is just a little supplement on the end to to tide us over and, and get some of these impressions out and try and get the podcast relatively balanced. But for this particular session, I wanted to talk to you about Last Stop. Oh. So, this is an Xbox Series Me X. With it. What is? What is it? It's a Game Pass game. <laughs> Become its own category, really. Now. Fodder. Fodder, almost. Yeah. But no, it is on Game Pass, but it is on all other platforms. So it's on PC, it's on Xbox One, it's on PS4, PS5, Switch. So it's it's all on there. Um, it's an adventure game. So it's one of these narrative-based choice malarkeys. But the thing that really caught my eye about this particular one is I like narrative games. I, have, I haven't played these adventure-type games for a bit of a while, actually. I've actually been... You know, a few years, I feel like I haven't gone into one properly. In the last one I may well have done was probably the last season of The Walking Dead when that finally right. announced. I used to play them oh. consistently. You remember me? I used to like, like yeah, yeah, life did, is yeah, strange. Yeah. Bang, Virginia. Bang. Bomb. So, Variable State are the developers of this one, and they are the guys that did Virginia. Brilliant game. Brilliant, so, brilliant. you love that game. I did, yeah. Um, it was really good. I enjoyed it. That was back in 2016. I don't think I enjoyed it as much as you, but... It was, oh, I don't it, know why it hit something with me that did. Mm. I don't know why. It was interesting the way they'd done it because mm. as far as I remember, it didn't have um, any voice voice acting or no, scripts no or anything acting. really. It was all done oh. through visual and, and music keys, Yeah, which was really yeah. interesting. So I did wonder. when I, I didn't do any research on Last Stop. I just saw it as those guys, and then I saw it was on Game Pass, and I was like, right, this is what I like when Phil gets these little fucking... 
hopefully little yeah. gems on there. Mm. Um, and I thought I'll give this a go. So I didn't really look into what it is. This is a bit of a, a departure from the Virginia take because there is voice acting. Um, there's dialogue choices as well. Um, and that's a, that's a bit of a big change for the variable state boys and girls. And the way it is set up, it's set up in to be um, in London. So it's a very English-based tale. Got all these little Englishmen, all polite, roaring around the capital, loving life. But um, the way it's kind of structured is there's actually three characters that you'll take control of throughout the, the campaign. You've got, like, this fella called John who's, like, a, a middle-aged, like, balding father. Single father, I should add. And he's got a, a daughter there. So that's one character you'll take control of. You've got a lady called Mina who is, like, this high-powered, high-level, like... She's like an agent for a... Um, I would say like not quite MI5 because it's not government but oh, like a, an intelligence firm that's what yeah, but it, it feels like they're um, they are private so not, not government affiliated but they're right. doing all sort of spy shit basically yeah. so she's kind of in that world um, and then you've got Donna who is a um, she's like a teenage student um, she lives with a mum, sister. Oh, a real diverse group. It is, yeah. So there's, there's, there's three very unique characters, different ages as well, which is cool, different genders, different ethnic you know, groups, all that good stuff. Mm. And it's focused around... It's kind of like a, a Black Mirror type setup in that oh, there's, cool, there's yeah. supernatural elements going on. Um, and each of these three characters have like their... Um, I guess they brush with this particular supernatural... Um, event that's occurring in London and perhaps in in other places, and it just you go through the story of how that's affecting them, and then you know they intertwine at the end. Will they go off in their separate ways? There's all there's all different ways in which you can kind of go through this and, and wrap this up, and you get choice of which of the characters you kind of choose um, to start with, but you have to play through one chapter of each before moving on. Mm. So you could pick. Donna first, then you have to go to, to Mina, then you have to go to John, then it'll go to the next sort of phase of the story. So that's how you, the story's packaged up. It's not like you can just break neck through John's. Um, right. it, it wants you to kind of go through them all, you know, at, at the same sort of time. Um, mm. Now, the, the, the script itself's pretty good. Um, it's quite funny at times. It's quite well written. I think they get the... They've gone for like the obviously the, the very English nature of of London, the, the quirks of sometimes of Englishness, and, and got that done reasonably well. It's a bit of a caricature of some people, but one thing I hate. There's no Essex cans there though. I was there not. No. <laughs> one thing I can't remember what game it was or TV series recently. Probably watched when they stuff. use um, yeah, it probably was actually when they use American actors, voice actors, to do English accents, and it sounds like the most forced. Yeah, it's like when English people do American accents. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's um. Is it? Do you get any of that? In I didn't know they. I didn't no. get that. I don't actually know who the voice actors are, so they, they may well have done that, but. They they it do have that. Cool. They do sound a bit dopey. Right. A lot of them. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's just how we sound. <laughs> yeah, possibly. <laughs> Which Especially is a bit, these a bit rich coming from the Essex boys, but they yeah, yeah. this mob sound a little bit dopey at times. Some of the characters you meet, but it's not distracting. I guess is what I'd yeah. I kind yeah, of yeah, put that's... it down as. Um, it's, it's very narrative focused, so it's it's not a lot of in terms of gameplay. There are kind of small little gameplay elements like little mini games that you might play you'll control the character kind of walking around and things like that but ultimately it's very much like a telltale setup like you have three dialogue choices and then they'll express that dialogue option and then the characters will interact, interact around you there's not really any choices though it's, oh, right. it's okay. not like you'll get to the end of each chapter and it'll be like oh john your daughter's on the train tracks do you want to risk your life and save her or let her get run over and mangled by it like it's none of that definitive no, it's just kind of like you, you, the, the way people are going to react around you, and you're you're changing that. Mm. So that's a bit of a that empties the tank a little bit in terms of stuff that you can do to interact. It's purely dialogue written and um, dialogue kind of engagement. So mm. from that perspective, I think it does lose a little bit of an element. From it's clearly going for like a telltale approach, but it doesn't have yeah that, that doesn't the choices there and, mm. and and whatnot. You're kind of funneled down. The specific routes, um, but the art style is nice and easy on the eye. Mm. It's 
it, you'll see me typing. I'm um, I'm currently watching trailers of it, so I can get an image of what you're telling me. <laughs> yeah, I mean the animation work ranges from like acceptable Looks to poor. Very, very clean. It's looking. It is very clean. Yeah, um, it's it's not great. Though right. really, it's it's okay. It's serviceable, I guess, is the best way to kind of do it. I'm seeing characters without faces is interesting. Yeah, so only the only, only the key characters have faces. Like the oh. rest of the people, like say if there's someone on a bus, like you're in a scene on the yeah. bus. You're, the, the guy sitting next to you, you're chatting to like a character you'll know. They will have a face. They'll be talking to you, but everyone else on the bus is just sort of like morphed, like faceless. I don't. I don't think it's just some sort of like. They're just trying to be like, oh, oh here's please. the theme of like, oh, you're not really paying attention to other people. Yeah, so yeah. Like, oh, I'm just yeah. trying to be clever, but that fucking washed over me. Um, but on. yeah, some of the, there's, there's some nice little small gameplay things like... Brushing your teeth? Yeah, you, yeah. it's weird <laughs> things like that, making tea. Right. Like, oh, really? you're stir- yeah. It's just like, I understand why they do it, because it's like, it's a little, it's like, oh, a bit fun to do this, but mm. it, it I wonder if it's, is this... On the uh, Switch, is there any? Um... There is, is on, on, I don't know if it's got any motion controls actually. Motion controls, that's the one. Oh, it's very British looking, isn't it? Just watching this B roll. They do get like the setting of like London really good. quite. Yeah, they do a good well, job of making it feel like that, which is a, a you know can be a big risk for people. Mm. Um, but generally, the performance of the game's pretty good. There's no real problems yep. in terms of crashing that I had. Um, uh, the story itself is. I'd say pretty good, um, not the best. Serviceable, serviceable, yeah. yeah, yeah. And really, that's where it's it, hmm, it just doesn't quite have enough guts about it. Really, no. I think no. they've they've obviously gone for something a lot more um, ambitious. Thing. Yeah, because yeah, they've got the yeah, voice acting, they've thing. got the choices. It's a lot more got a lot more got guts to it. But I don't know if it's mm. quite holds together as well as perhaps what Virginia yeah. did. No, I remember the music stood out as a big, big plus in Virginia. What's the music like in this? Is it? I suppose yeah. it takes a back seat as they're focusing. No, it's, it's it's got that similar kind of vibe to it. They've definitely retained that level of you know, I'd say positive mm. from from Virginia in terms of the sound, including the the voice acting, which I touched upon, and the music. So that's yeah. definitely a, a plus for it. But it's just there's just scruffy things like a lot of the lot of the dialogue is like. And conversations between characters are when you're like walking somewhere. So you'll be walking right. down the street, the camera will change directions. And if you keep pressing the direction you're going, like if you don't move your thumb, you'll carry on walking forward, but your perspective will have changed. <laughs> so if you then take your thumb off and move, then press the same direction, you'll go like backwards because you're actually facing back. There's a little bit of a weird chopping and changing between the cameras, which is, um, is a bit of a pain. But the, the one thing that really annoys me in games is when conversations cut off when you're walking to from point a to point b so it's clearly like a you know a set of dialogue they've they've written but if you walk directly to that point often you'll miss the end of the conversation because it'll trigger the next scene or the next kind of interaction and that really annoys me <laughs> when that happens yeah. that happens a couple of times and for, for me that's somewhat not unacceptable it's but it's just it no, is just a bit annoying. of an annoyance especially in a narrative yeah. based game Mm. but um it's very linear you know there's not a lot of exploration to be to be going on with um, no replay i suppose with no cho- actual real choices there's not really much replayability not aspect really to it, no i mean you like can see how different characters enough. react but you're not going to get widespread kind of Cho- in the moment consequences for your actions um it's one of those things where the choices are clearly on the the back, you know, on the back seat. I think that's the same with Virginia. You were very much sort of just going through yeah, it a, was. a story, a set, wasn't you? Yeah, set narrative and one outcome, basically. Yeah. You can, there are other outcomes in this. I'm not going to spoil exactly how no, that, course, that happens, no, no. but there are ways you can do that. So you could probably go back to see those, but mm. one of those things that you often will just jump on YouTube, won't you, and just be like, yeah, I'll, just, yeah, I'll yeah. just see sort of the back end of it. It's that. strange because... Virginia did have also a bit of sort of exploration to it. That what mm. you could go off the beaten path. Obviously, it won't wasn't you a detective well. or something in Virginia? Yeah, it was. Yeah, if you remember, yeah, you or worked for like the or FBI, something. some sort of FBI agent, I think it was, and it was going through her life or something. Oh, it's been a little few years it was now. Twenty sixteen that came out. So 
five years. Yeah. No, is it more? Yeah, four, four, five. No, six. Oh, Jesus. So, been a little while, but yeah, I do remember sort of going through and you could find sort of notes and stuff that sort of built the law of the, the universe out or whatnot. Um, so, yeah, I suppose, yeah, not being that being very linear. Hmm. Interesting. Um, don't know. Is there anything else else to add on that? Difficult to say with this one because it because it is so story focused. The more I sort mm. of start tripping over myself, the oh, more I'll, yeah, I'll give yeah, away. Yeah. It is. It's one of those things that if you if you like those, these adventure games, then you may find something here. But I wouldn't say it's one of the best, and nor is it. It doesn't no. it doesn't quite come together perhaps as well as Virginia. It's more ambitious. Yeah. But I think that's come at a bit of a cost for the poor boys and girls at Variable State. So, I mean... Has no one snapped these up yet? Oh, Variable State. No, no one. They said that's... Oh, like, Jim, Jim will be watching. Jim is fucking... He wants everything, he said. <laughs> I'll give you one billion. They'll be like, cool, well, definitely. Billion. Yeah, take that. And he made 20 no. grand off the last game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell. But no, it's... Uh, it's, no. it's If you'd like... It's, it's something there if you like these games, but I just... I didn't... I probably wasn't a, a massive fan of Virginia. It wasn't like one of my favourites. No, no, but and this probably falls in just a little bit below that. So right. no but, bollards being grabbed here. No, I wouldn't say so. I mean, it'd be interesting for you to go for it one day because yeah. just because you loved Virginia so much to see how this stacks up. But mm. um, I wouldn't say it's a it's a must play, unfortunately. But no. that's kind of like what happens sometimes. But overall, I'd give it six and a half, six point five. Six. Just, 6.5 for the just boys. misses out on the championship sort of bronze recommendation. Bronze level, so but. subpar. Unfortunately, they they go for the ambitious one and sh- sh- fucking fall short. Bless them. A little bit, but yeah. Get, a, few, a few studios that seem to do that. I know, sort of. Um, was it old papers? Fucking boyfriend, um, Sean Murray. He sort mm. of. Well, even though. No Man's Sky was very ambitious, but they seem to have a good game. And then they go, right, we've got the fans now, let's go big. Mm. And typically, the next big game does always seem to fall short. Yeah, it's difficult, um, especially with the smaller studios, because mm. obviously their li- resources are limited. Yeah. Um, there's still, it's, it's clearly talent here. It's just, I think this one kind of missed the mark just a, just a bit, um, yeah. which was a bit of a shame, but... One of those mm. things. I wouldn't not not a terrible game, but not one of no. my more memorable ones that I'd, I've played recently. So, six point five. Unfortunately for Last Stop. Um, mm. Well, this is going to be a relatively short one, short game mm. as well, so it fits the bill. Nothing more for us to say here, other than thanks for your time, and tada. Mm. <laughs> This was a Dimp Digital production.